learn NLP and master the power of your unconscious mind. Stay tuned. This is Damon Cart from NLP Gym. Before I get into learning NLP and how to master the unconscious mind, if you haven't already, please click subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get these videos on a regular basis. Also, I will be opening enrollment for my NLP practitioner program, which is an online course. I will be opening that enrollment on January 6th and for one week and one week only for the people who sign up during that first week that it's open, you will get a free coaching session from me, one free coaching session for signing up that first week. Learning NLP. I'm always fascinated by the many reasons many different people learn NLP. It's not such a specific reason. There are many reasons, and there are probably different reasons for every person out there. It's a very individualized thing because it's really about learning about how you process information and how others process information for greater communication. With greater communication, you become more persuasive. You also become more precise. You also become more hypnotic. And when you're able to do that, you're able to create outcomes and goals that you can execute and see real results and not just get results because sometimes we get results and it doesn't really fulfill us. It doesn't make us that happy. We get the result, we're happy, we celebrate for about 24 hours and then we don't feel so great about it anymore and we feel the need to go and set another goal. Well, NLP would help you understand what's going to make you happy, what's going to fulfill you. Some people want to become more persuasive. Some people want to have more mastery over themselves and to know how to motivate themselves and solve their own problems. And you probably have all of your own reasons for wanting to learn NLP. The thing about NLP that really got my attention early on, whenever I first started learning it, is the unconscious mind. It seems so mysterious to me, and in a sense it is still very mysterious, but not as mysterious as it used to be. And that's actually, that's a really good thing. Because all the unconscious mind is, it's, it's all the stuff that is in your, not just your mind, but in your body as well, that you don't think about. Now this is a good thing, and then this can be a bad thing. I don't have to think about breathing. I will do it. It's an unconscious process. I don't have to think about beating my heart. It happens automatically. It's an unconscious process. NLP is about becoming more conscious of how we're creating these unconscious processes so that we can change them. There are people who meditate on this and can actually have control over their own heartbeat and can actually slow it down. You can take unconscious processes and bring them into consciousness. Why is that important? Because that is how you're creating all of your problems, all of your limiting beliefs, and all of your obstacles in your life. It's through unconscious processes that are not conscious, and if they're not conscious, this is what makes them so powerful because then they control you, you don't control them. By making them conscious, now that puts you in charge again, and you get to take charge of those processes and change them so that you can have and get what you want. How powerful is the unconscious? Think about it this way. You probably enjoy movies, most people do. It's a billion dollar industry. Without those unconscious processes, you wouldn't go see movies, you wouldn't enjoy movies. The whole idea behind movies is to tap into the structure of your unconscious processes that gets you to give your attention to characters in a plot that lasts two hours. What else do you put two hours of your attention on in your life? Probably not a whole lot. I'm talking two hours of devoted attention, nonstop attention like you do in a movie. That takes an understanding from screenwriters, from directors, even from actors, about how people unconsciously process information. Because when you sit and you watch a movie, think about what you're conscious of. Well, you're conscious of the characters, you're conscious of the plot and the story, but the plot and the story is based on humans' unconscious processes. It's so powerful that when you sit down to watch a movie, a lot of times 
you go into a hypnotic state. When you sit down to watch a movie, you let go of your current reality and you step into the reality of the characters and the plot. And a lot of times you just completely forget about where you are. A good movie or a good screenwriter and the execution of good directors and actors knows how to tap into those unconscious processes that you're not thinking about consciously. You've actually seen the same movie over and over and over because what you're watching or what you're experiencing is the same structure over and over and over and you, but you don't realize it because it's unconscious. Now, if you had seen the exact same characters, the exact same actors, and all the same lighting and setting and everything, then that's more conscious and you would become bored with that and you wouldn't keep watching that movie. You would lose interest because you would start to recognize the patterns. But the truth is, is that you've experienced the same story structure over and over and over again, but you keep coming back for more. Why? Because it's unconscious and that's why it's so powerful. I think it's funny when people say things like, oh, I like, I like it when things happen organically, like relationships or success. Or when people say, I'm very intuitive. And I, I kind of laugh about that because all that is, is unconscious processes taking place and because you're not conscious of it, you call it something like intuition. Or you say, oh, it's so organic. But no, there are lots of processes that are happening there. When you're talking about relating to other people, I can teach you how to gain rapport with someone who you've just met in five minutes. Why? Because in NLP, we become aware of these unconscious processes so that we can actually make them happen when we want to. So while it may seem like you have this intuition or that something happened organically, you can actually use NLP to go back and find out how all of that happened and make that conscious and then you can replicate those patterns again. You can remember a time when you met someone and you felt like you knew them your whole life and, and you instantly trusted that person. You can go back and pull those unconscious processes into consciousness and then make that happen. That's a lot of what NLP does for you already. To go back to the movie example, you wouldn't say you like the way movies happen organically or that the movie came out of your intuition or that the movie came out of the writer's intuition. No, believe me, any great movie <laughs> has been a collaboration of a writer or several writers spending lots of time writing and rewriting to get the structure right, to get the, the dialogue right, to get the characters right. Then there's the lighting, then there's the directing, then there's the acting. There's so much that goes into it so that you can have an experience of enjoying a movie without being conscious of those things. When you're watching a movie, you're not conscious of the edits. You're not conscious if it's a good movie. Now, if it's a bad movie, one way we know a bad movie is when we're overly conscious of how the movie was made. When we see bad cuts, when we see a microphone come into the screen, when an actor isn't believable because they're delivering their lines in a very stilted manner. This brings our consciousness to the reality that we're not in that reality, we're in our own reality watching a bad movie. Movies don't happen organically, stories don't happen organically. There's a lot of conscious effort that goes into this. So my question for you is, why would you leave your life up to circumstance and luck? and whatever happens and whatever your unconscious processes dictate for you. Wouldn't you wanna have conscious control over your life, how you experience life, your happiness, your fulfillment, your results, your strategies? What NLP does is brings those processes into your consciousness so now you have control, now you're in charge, now your internal programs are not running you. You're not on autopilot anymore. You're running it. You can pull up these unconscious processes, change them to suit you better, and then allow them to go unconscious again. Why is this important? Because whatever you perceive of as a problem in your life, believe me, you created that. Now, there are external circumstances that happen where we can call those problems. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the problems that we have internally. When we suffer, when we feel stuck, when we feel limited, these are the kind of problems that we are creating. And because 
we feel that way, we feel stuck, that lets you know that all of, all of this is happening unconsciously because you can't be stuck if this was conscious because if you were conscious of it, you would fix it immediately. If you're hungry, you would go get something to eat. If you're tired, you'd go sleep because you're conscious of those things. But when you're having problems that are happening that you're creating unconsciously, you can't solve them. Learn NLP to take charge of your life. Learn NLP to get the results that you want. Learn NLP so that you become a more conscious and aware human being. Learn NLP so that you can understand yourself and understand people around you and understand how you're creating your reality and how you can change it. That's what NLP is, becoming more conscious of your unconscious processes. And that will change your life in the best ways possible. Check out my website, nlp-gym.com. Follow me on Facebook for real-time updates on upcoming programs, lectures, and other workshops that I'm doing. Also, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, please click subscribe to get these videos on a regular basis. Leave a comment or a question, I will follow up with you. And like I mentioned, I will be opening early enrollment for my NLP practitioner program, which is an online training. It's the most comprehensive online training out there. You can go at your own pace. I do live group coaching sessions. All the tools you need to learn NLP. And like I mentioned in the first week of early enrollment, if you sign up during that first week, you'll get a free coaching session. I don't even have a sign up page for it yet. This is a brand new announcement. Just know that January 6th, early enrollment starts and make sure you sign up. Take care.